This missile didn't just carry nukes, it was a nuke. And the longer it flew, the deadlier it became. A US missile so deadly just testing it risked nuclear apocalypse. In 1961, the Pentagon greenlit Project Pluto, the supersonic low-altitude missile, or SLAM, a supersonic missile powered by a nuclear ramjet. Unlike regular rockets, this monster didn't need fuel, it sucked in air, superheated it with a reactor, and flew forever. One test run could have irradiated thousands of miles. Engineers admitted, its sonic booms alone carried enough radiation to kill. To test its reactor, they built a $12 million concrete fortress in Nevada. Even then, crews hid behind 12-foot lead walls. Because the engine's scream was 165 decibels, louder than a volcanic eruption. In 1964, the Pentagon axed Pluto. Not because it failed, but because it worked too well. A single leak could have turned allies into enemies and Earth into a radioactive wasteland. Today, its rusted test stand still stands in the desert, a monument to Cold War madness. And the SLAM missile, buried so deep even historians can't find it. Want more weapons so dangerous even the military got scared? Hit subscribe.